Microphone check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, yo, yo, 15, yo, 16, yo. 17, 18, 19, 20! 0, 2, 20! 0, 2, 0. Mr. J. Hill here. Taylor Bay is here. Rob. Gemini Scorpio podcast episode 20. 20. Yo, What's popping? It's 20. I could just drop a tear in my champagne. Hey, Hold on. I, I want to say special shout out to mm-hmm. Bel Air for this one because. Um, if you don't know, well, of course, coronavirus is going on, and with with quarantine going on, they're not sending they're not sending any any of their influencers out the packages. However, we got a special package because special delivery of the Gemini I want Scorpio that. podcast. So special delivery, I need that. We got mimosas. We drinking gold bottle. Mm-hmm. Mimosas laced with a little something. A little sound. Little with a little sound, something. A little splash. The team is in the mm. building. Alex is here. Yes, sir. Monique is in the building as well. Up. Hey. Ah! Yeah, 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 yeah. What's going on, man? Yeah, yeah, no, in <clears> 20, <throat> I wanted a big party, but it does not take away from my excitement because it is episode 20. Do you hear me? Mm-hmm. 20. I don't give a fuck if it's two, three, four. We are well under 10. Trust me. Hey, first, first. But we here. Let's give a special shout out to uh, Jewel as well because I know she special might be going through some things. Special shout out to Jewel. It's, 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 it's just one of them them, them times, yeah. man. So yeah. we still going to pray for Jewel. She's still a gang. She's still with the family. Oh, gang, 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 gang. Hey, man. Uh, 20. 20. So, let's do a little, ref- let's do a little <clears throat> reflecting. I'm a little screechy because I've been screaming 20 all morning. <laughs> let's do a little reflecting of wow. these 20 episodes. What's up, babe? 20 episodes. It started From with episode <clears throat> one to 20. Like, what we actually the had, fuck? We actually had like 21, 22 low key. So we Low started key. at we started at episode zero. Alex, right. you was here for zero? No, nah, yeah. he was here for you was here for yeah. two. All right, so yeah, so damn, let's 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 talk about it, man. How has it been? It's been a, a long journey. It's or? been a journey, especially for somebody you know who is not used to it. Like for me, um, like I was telling Jay and Monique earlier, this is the first time you know I'm gonna get my money regardless. You heard? So as far as work, I pull up to work. I'm my work ethic is impeccable when it comes to my nine to five I'm showing up but something that is mine and that I'm a part of that we're not fully getting paid for but that I decided come on Siri the yeah fuck? My, my bad S- Serena okay because <laughs> you know Siri's black on our phones S- Soria S- Soraya so all I'm saying is you know I'm not really the most dedicated to things outside of my money. And this is one thing that is special to my heart because I went 20 episodes with the team. That's a hell of a commitment for myself as well as for the whole team. And it's just so exciting to see the consistency because we are 20. Before we know it, we're going to be at 100, Mm. 200. Do y'all know what 20 means? That is dedication. They say 21 days to make a damn habit we had 20 episodes which is four how many weeks what how many months months that's four months consistently we were supposed to be on our way to our live podcast but you know what we here through the quarantine through the pandemic was going on we all are all are healthy everybody in here is healthy so shout out to the team shout out to 20 episodes i'm so grateful shout out to the squad so grateful shout out to the boss the boss is here he swear he he want to act so modest like now listen so <laughs> modest shout out to the boss i want Ooh. honestly i want it's time to turn <laughs> up man because i just you know 20 episodes and it's really time to put our foot on the gas because screw, screw, i wanted screw, to be screw, screw, i wanted screw. to change ad lib queen this episode i'm about <laughs> to give you all ad lib work i wanted to i wanted to turn into you know like this is something that i can quit my job for you know what yeah. i'm saying i wanted to turn it to something this is something that i am getting paid for like yeah. that's my goal you know what i'm saying of course we want to give the entertainment and give couples motivation and give them a, a just a magnifying glass and a real yeah. relationship with real flaws and real strengths yeah. as well but at the same time i definitely wanted to to bring in money so we can take it that much serious right. you know what and i'm saying we, and we could pay the team yeah you know we want to pay ourselves we want to pay the team you know what I'm saying? We want to give y'all better content, better quality. You know, we try and get all the way there. So shout out to twin two zero. Yeah. Zero. <laughs> zero. <laughs> Ask how many fucks I give. Zero two zero. Oh, wow. <laughs> but now um I'm here. Let's 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 get into this, man. All uh, right, what's up? Last week was 
pretty cool. Last week's a cool week. Yeah. It's Finally, cool. you got into the battles, so we can talk about that. Okay, I did. So, okay, so I didn't really watch majority of the battles that's been going on between, you know, these heavy hitting artists, their songs that they have produced. But, but I think I got in when I tapped in. I tapped into a good one. A Neo great verse. I'm oh, Neo, excuse me. Neo did well as well. Um, so I heard because I didn't watch. T-Pain. However, T Pain. <laughs> First, little John, I was in this motherfucker wildin' because that is my childhood right there. Do you hear me? It was like a party. Not my childhood. That's my. That was my growing. Like when I'm first getting it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'ma buy you a drink. Oh. Listen, I feel like niggas was sleeping on. Look, little John was wildin'. Niggas was sleeping on little John. Yeah. So let's get straight. Yo, I think little John, he won. He won. But it wasn't like he he. He killed them. Yeah, he nah. won because he just had. He just he his he, it, his rebuttals was, was just, just crazy. crazy. Like he but, was coming with some shit. <clears throat> shut, 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 yeah, yeah. shut, shut, shut. But T Pain was doing his fucking thing. T Pain was doing his thing. Hey, no, we got T-Pain the um got bangers on bangers on bangers. They did like they they too. did so good. Like I like I was in here really turned up because it just brought back so many memories, and I think that was really. The, what I liked about these uh, battles on produce, like they brought back so many memories for so many people, and it's like where you can think of where you were when you were listening to those songs at those times. Fire. It just was such a fire experience. Like I really felt great. It was definitely a vibe. Um, shout out to it. Uh, yeah. Shout out to uh, T Pain. Shout out to Lord John. You hey. know. <clears throat> oh, we got the list. That's the list right here. Oh. All right. So. It's 20 for 20, so I don't want to read all of them because it's 40. Or just, I can read T Pain. Just, just so read T- top five and five. T Pain drops uh, Good Life, Kanye West, Welcome Get Low, Flo Rida, yeah, yeah, yeah. Up Down, T Pain song, I'm Work T Pain, I'm So Hood, DJ Khaled, so uh, Got good. Money, uh, Go Hard, Hey Ooh. Baby, Five O'Clock, uh, Damn, e. The Boss, Ooh. I'm Sprung, of course, Kiss mm-hmm. Kiss. She got that lovey dovey. Uh, that, that kiss kiss. kiss. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, she got uh can't he got can't believe it two step remix. I'm a Ooh, flirt. Blame it. I'm a flirt. Bartender. Da-da-da-da. I'm in love with a stripper. Yo, oh my wildin'. god. Wildin'. Buy you a drink. Yo. All I want to do is win. Then Lord John, listen, Lord, man. Come on. He Lord dropped John's get still- low. Ooh. Yeah. Low, low. Damn, salt shaker, no problem. Shake it like Throw a it salt up. Shaker. Hey. Damn. Come on. Tour the anthem. I don't mm. give a fuck. Uh, let's go, trick daddy. Let's go. Um, my type, sheesh. Damn. My goodies. My goodies. Some cut. My goodies. Damn. My goodies. Not my goodies. Lean Come back. On. Lean back remix. Uh, gasolina. Oh, gasoline. Yo, when that shit drop, I ain't gonna lie. Tell me my gasolina. I was wild in here. He dropped shots. Damn. Blow the whistle. Boop, boop, boop. Lovers and friends. Snap Yo, your fingers. When they played that, it was Turned a down vibe. For what? Damn. Damn. What a list. What, what a list. list. Like, uh, so much nostalgia in that. I love it. I loved it. Um it was shout a out party to them. It was a party. Me and Jay was in here. We poured out because, you know, oh, sorry, baby. I'm sorry. Not on the orange. Not on the orange. Orange. <laughs> so yeah, we was we poured our drinks because Lil John was like, "Get y'all cups." We definitely had our cups. Yeah, it was a party, you know. Party. We was having a party. It was a nice vibe. Um, I love it. I love that they're doing it. I want them to keep doing it. Uh, shout out to Swiss Beats and um, Timberland because yeah. you know that was a great pair up. That was a great. Um, pair. I don't. Jay's they, still waiting for who are you waiting for? Jay? Man, I'm waiting for Kanye West and Pharrell. Man, mm, listen, mm, mm. Kanye West and Pharrell. Uh, what I, uh, Teddy Riley. Apparently they postponed that one. I was yeah. waiting ahead. I wanted Supposed to slow to dance today. with Jay in here to that. Yeah, because yesterday was really dropped. a party in here though. No, like that's what I like about it. it. It's, it it's so kind of like a concert, and I feel like yeah, if, put it up on your TV, let it go live, and you just vibe out. I feel like if they didn't have like if this coronavirus thing didn't hit, they would have never did this. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. so I, I definitely fuck with it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, man. And you got? Are you looking forward to any of them? Or if you had to choose, who would you say? If I had to choose. Um, oh, so what's funny is I want, so, you know, I feel like a lot of these went around. I want the beat makers to come out like, yeah. like some type, like Beethoven verse, like Beethoven or Zaytoven? Zaytoven. My best is mm. Beethoven. Damn. I was looking at you talking about Bay. Okay. That was a good. I, I was looking at you feeling like Bay. The comeback is I just, real. I just thought of one. 
That Who? would probably go stupid. What's Who? stupid? Lil Wayne versus Drake. If that ever happened, that would go stupid. So we was just talking about that. Yeah, so. We was. And, um, it, so it gets hard. It gets hard because, Lil, yo. Lil Wayne is the GOAT. The GOAT. But we going to be no, all right. Why, why? No, hold on, hold on, hold on. But what? let me give you We going to be all right if we put Drake on every hook. You already know. Listen. Let me tell you, we tried. We did this last night. We did it last we night. We did it last night. Let, now, let if it a, wasn't for Lil Wayne, it, it wouldn't would be, be Drake. No Drake. But what I'm saying is he did a great job of recruiting. Great. That's all because That's let me tell you, saying. and I was telling Jay, I went to a Lil Wayne versus Drake concert at Jiffy Lube. You would think like, all right, I, you just knew Lil Wayne was going, but like they went from old to young, to new, right? One for one. Yo, the shit was mind blown because it's like Wayne come out, it's like, oh nah, Drake and Drake come out, it's like, oh nah, Wayne come back, it's like, oh my god, like it was crazy, but it's just crazy, like, and I, it's hard, it's hard because yeah, look, Lil Wayne is the goat, but Drake got. Oh, I love to see he, um he got a catalog as well, yo. I love to see of course I want to see Diddy and um J D. Uh mm. I wouldn't even mind seeing mm. I wouldn't mind seeing Bad Boy versus Rock The Rock. Ooh. Uh Ooh. Ooh. I wouldn't mind seeing so your rocks up, you feel what I'm saying? But, I mean, but bad boy, <laughs> they got some killers. Nah, nah, it's some heavy hitters over there. You might have to go fifty for fifty for, with that one. Nah, seriously, yeah, um, I'm I'm with that too. I would love to see that bad boy verse. Too raw. Why does it go fifty? Um, that would be dope. But I love it. I love this experience, and like you said, like if the pandemic didn't happen and we weren't stuck in the house this wouldn't have happened we wouldn't have got to witness you know history and i think this was definitely something shit i think you said something damn they might just start dropping breaking new singles on the lives because that shit is hard like and everybody was tuned in let's talk about that i'm talking about yo you had nba netflix uh i can't even just everybody tap in Netflix was wild. And it, Netflix, yeah, was Netflix was drunk. Wild. And it wasn't just. It was drunk. There was. It, it was in there drunk saying anything. It wasn't just NBA. Like when you say when you say NBA, you think of music. You think about NBA Young Boy. It was no, the, the NBA, the, the National NBA Basketball Association. Like account. Like that shit is Sweetie. crazy. Like uh, on, uh, on their comment. And, and they broke the record too, though. They broke so the shout record. To shout out to them. Mm. Mm-hmm. Let's keep drinking. I think it was like. Uh, Two, not nah. yeah. I think it was I like think they broke it at two. <clears throat> they went to two sixty. Yeah, they hit two sixty. Yeah, they had. They had two sixty six. I think they. I think they. I think they hit might have hit two seven. Nah, they had a lot. Nah, they they hit. Yo, they had that's a lot. wow, and it's hard. Like Instagram Live is not. I don't care. Even the most popular, it's hard to get and that many people you, log on like at one time. You know who? Like, you know who they broke the record from? Um, Tory Lanez and Drake. Ooh, come on. Yeah, so. I would hope so, but who would she go against? I mean, there's no competition. Yo, they would she, have to bring somebody. Back it would have to be Beyonce dead. versus Jay Z. Nah, literally, like, <laughs> Beyonce versus. So like, one, one that, one that I said like, was a killer. Who the fuck would go against Chris Brown? Mm-hmm. No. Y'all got to Chris Damn. Brown. Got first of all, he puts out like 50 songs on one album every time. Anyway, give me Chris, think, think about think about who's me, going against Chris Brown. It would have to be like Chris Brown, Rihanna. But is uh, it really Rihanna? Or not it would even. Be, you know, I would, it would have to be like a just a respect battle and like not a competition. Chris Brown versus like Michael Jackson or something. Low key. Oh. Like, but oh. I don't think nobody's gonna be Mike Michael Jackson. Damn. Mm. That's case closed. You gotta put Prince. Like you gotta put somebody like Prince against Michael Jackson. I feel like. I don't. Hell no. I mean, mm. respect the Prince. Respect yeah, him. but nah. But we not even close. Catalog. Not right even. Now. Not we not to me. Yeah. I mean, I'm, maybe because I, I'm kind of ignorant in the Prince category, but. Michael Jackson. It would have to be like Michael Jackson versus R. Kelly or some shit. Ooh, yo, R. Kelly. Honestly, you know, I know we anti R. Kelly right now, and but I. But we get gotta it. give the the but credit where it's due. The music credit where it's due. Oh my god! If R. Kelly was to ever do something like this, y'all, come on. Damn. Come on. Sheesh. But he's on lockdown. Yeah, <laughs> well, before so, we were on lockdown, and he'll be on lockdown for a very long time. Facts. So let's talk about speaking of lockdown. 
We'll talk about that later because 6 9 is out. And we'll, we'll talk about that later. We'll talk about that yeah, later. That let's nigga. get into this. Let's, let's, get, into let's this. get into the podcast, man. Let's get into the podcast. So, right, um, you know, my topic today, it is how to turn on when you turn off. And where that stemmed from was, you know, sometimes, you know, in a relationship, um, and I'll even say friendships, but I'm going to stick to relationships because that's where we, you know, that's where our podcast is. But sometimes in relationships, like, you do things that may turn your partner off or... Or they might just get on your fucking nerves. Yeah, yeah, like, get on your nerves. Like, whatever you want to call it, get on. But it, turn, it, it can be a turn off. Like, it's just like, uh, I don't even want to deal with you right now. Like, I'm good on you. Like, don't even talk to me. Like, that ass, don't speak to me. Like, for real. What what I do that made you not want to speak to me? I mean, we, I think, so the thing, so that's how was my resolution point. I'm glad you asked that question, right? Because it's funny because when I am or I get close to those points, I'm like, yo, this thing go on my fucking nerves. This thing better not talk to me for the rest of the day. I have to stop to think, right? And this is becomes like a really humbling experience. And this is how you turn on after you turn off, right? Because when I have to think, I'm like, damn, I ain't no saint. I know I probably do mad things that, you know, turn this nigga off or don't like, you know what I'm saying? We like, a lot of times I think we like to think that it's just the other person. But when you got to think like, hmm, I probably did something too before. It kind of like, you can't really, you got to turn on Mm because you got to give the situation grace. So I can't sit here and say, well, because you do this and you do that, because then I can come back and look at myself. I'm like, oh, but you kind of do this and do that and do that and do that. You know what I'm saying? But what I will say, it's really hard. Like sometimes like, like I said, like, especially, look, everybody can sit here and act like relationships is the easiest walk in the park. And even if you don't act like that, y'all can sit here and act like y'all always like each other. Because that's not true. Like, it's just not true. Like, some days it's like, y'all always love each other, I would hope. But some days it's just like, y'all, I don't fuck with that. And because I don't fuck with that, I don't fuck with you right now. You know what I mean? And how do you get over that point? Like, what what are some things... And this, I'm gonna ask you a question first, and then I'm gonna answer it myself. Mm-hmm. What are some things that you like? You know what? I ain't feeling you right now, but this da 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 helps you get out of that moment. Man, I just you know, I don't know. Like, uh, I just sit back, and I really just look at myself and see what I what I did wrong or how can I change it. But honestly, I don't know. Maybe because I'm, I'm a guy, but I don't really get to that point too much unless it's like uh let's say probably you're lying you're lying you, what you mean you don't get to that point you don't too like, often not too i didn't say often it could be once every fucking year but it happens all right um, it happens and i think what happens is, is a lot of people sometimes in those moments that's actually some a lot of people may walk away mm. and they don't even know that they could have got over it because they just was like i'm good that's a dub that's a dub well in these in these recent times i don't know i just talk to somebody uh, I I I I weigh weigh the options. What's good and bad? Um, I like that weighing I, options. Yeah, I, I, weighing I, the pros. Yeah, pros, pros and cons. cons. But honestly, like I just be like, yo, like is this something that I'm willing to work on? And am I am I am I willing to face the worst possible case scenario? And if I am, it's like, all right, fuck it, let's let's right, rock. right. And something that Jay said one day is like. You know, you really got to look at somebody sometimes and like, if this is something that they absolutely never change ever, could I deal with it forever? Mm. And I think that is such an important way to conclude if this is a time to walk away Mm. or this is a time like just take some space and just, you know, render out because some things people do, you really just can't get over. Facts. You know what I mean? So you just can't get over. It's hard to get over and you don't want to go you know what i mean but then there's things that still may be hard so for example i seen the tweet is like some things are challenging and some things are uh, is going to create trauma Mm. you got to know is it a challenge or is this going to give me trauma but even if it it creates trauma don't you think it's it's still yeah a way to like yeah yeah that's definitely yeah and i agree and um you know something that i you know recently like i said like i just like jay said like it's like looking at yourself like a lot of times like not a lot of times but when i do get to those points because i think i am pretty much very temperamental sometimes and i do you know i mean shit i don't care who it is people get on my nerves period like people get the fuck on my nerves like I don't know and i think you know it's funny because shout out to kendall because i was on her live and i seen a lot of girls just was like i'm moody I'm moody. I get irritable fast. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that's, I think that's just people. Some things 
we just get annoyed at what pass me the tongues and i think i think really uh the i think it's the like you said because women and well men can be moody as well that's not getting fucked yeah, up don't, but please because but i think it's me the fuck moody too. whatever invisible please like i said episode i want to say zero zero three <laughs> but whatever i think in these times right because i was talking to somebody at work and she was saying that like at at home she's been getting like irritated she got to take a, a extra long walk when she walked the dog because like it's nothing wrong with her man it's just that she's been getting irritated she was saying that like usually she's the one that's that's yeah what is it called like just want to be all over you yeah and like you know what yeah. i'm saying she want to yeah. be all over her man but now it's like man i got i need to walk i need a break yeah and it's crazy Shit. because like i said i've been saying this quarantine this coronavirus thing been cool with me and Sade swears because if you got somebody that cook and clean up yeah i would be chilling too but what i will say is in all fairness is that and it's also i have been going to work so i i didn't even think about that because i have been going to work and I, i've been getting more hours yeah. so i've been out the house more yeah. you know what i'm saying so when yeah. i'm in the house i'm ain't it's nothing normal. yeah ain't it's nothing normal. really changed for me because that, as much mm -hmm. as i want to go out as much as i i think i go out i'm really i really be in the crib working right. like i'll like go out and shoot yeah. some shit, and I, I go out to work more mm -hmm. but i'm more i'm for the most mm -hmm. part in the house working yeah so like it's ain't nothing really changed yeah. for me so like it's still cool for me now i just got my family here for real Right, right. And for me, like, you know, like everything I was changed. everything's changed, especially it, it was little things that I started to appreciate, like something I started to appreciate, like, damn, I just missed like the commute to work because I see people like my train rides to work were actually therapeutic because I would talk to other people about different things like food places and uh, books and like just, you know, just things that I can't get in the house for really because like I'm not seeing different people. So I'm not getting different perspectives. I'm not getting that you know social engagement that we are prepped for that that's what a lot of college is for social development mm -hmm. like you know what i mean so you know i'm a long ways out of college but i'm not getting that social development anymore just by day-to-day -day life of seeing people and ob observing and perspective and you know hearing things about how people are buying homes here and the reasoning why and you know just understanding certain things that i might not have thought about like you know like just remember having a conversation with you know two different three it was three different races and we're all talking we're talking about you know flipping houses and how you do this and that and stocks and things like these those conversations i'm not getting so I, only thing i can do in the house is research it on my own but it's different when you can talk to people mm -hmm. and i think being in the house i haven't been able to talk to people and i think for people who are extroverted or just like to talk to people it this can be very hard you know what i mean it can be very hard so just to go back to your mm -hmm. question i think i turn on when I'm turned off just by getting some extra time because okay. also I, like I hate that. to blame it on me being a Gemini but I'm very like um I think I am moody but I handle it differently so like when I say I'm moody I get irritated quick but at the same time just as fast as I get irritated I, yeah. I get over it you yeah. know what I'm saying so it's yeah. like I'll and just I take think a <clears throat> I don't want to blame this on me with a Scorpio but if y'all deal with a Scorpio I've known a Scorpio we take a long time to get over things yeah, so we, like, we we do, and I'm a person who I take a while to get over things, and a while can mean three days, two days, but that's you know to somebody who gets over things quick, that can be a long time. Like he may be over something like in the next ten minutes, and I need a whole another twenty four hours. Yeah, I go I'm to irritated. sleep, wake up. And yeah, then... I'm still in the kitchen looking like, what the fuck? You over it? Ain't shit over, you know? So yeah, I wanted to talk yeah. about um, so we talked about this on one of our episodes, insecurities, right? Mm -hmm. But we've revisited this insecurity thing because um you know and i want to let's 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 get back into the the old potting yeah. for a second right potting. but it's gonna be different this time i think i, I think mm -hmm. i don't know we, mm -hmm. we might argue but um i want to get back into the old potting a little bit so with me and Shade's situation right and even even more so now it's hard to get like couples counseling and couple therapy and we should do that mm -hmm. however because we're human we don't have that yet we know we need to get it we still do things that we shouldn't do right so our last argument it got like real crazy whatever we reverted back to like some toxic traits and shit yeah. like that but i said it to say our toxic traits is really triggering to each other yeah and I, i'm just trying like stop asking my friend like yo can you really 
forgive somebody if you like how can you how do you really get over something you know what i'm saying yeah. like we say we're over it but how do you really forgive yeah. your partner because yeah. a lot of things really hurt like and, and yeah. it's, it's some things that i do get over fast and there's other things that i don't like right. it's things that i still think about yeah. that my girl have said to me or it's probably things that i that she probably think about that we don't talk about yeah and i don't think we really had these conversations and i right. want to talk about that on a podcast mm-hmm. and this this is new mm-hmm. but how do you really forgive like the things that i said to you mm-hmm. like how, how do you really for, yeah. forgive so uh it's something like so since that last episode that we had where we both said some mean things to each other and you know it's not the right thing to do but i'm not gonna say here it happens and you know what i'm saying it's not nice and it's something that we all i think have to do better at and not even just couple to couple like there's times my mom you know i like might do something to me i might say something mean too like you know what like off some just frustrating type of thing and i think that what i've what I, you know, just reading one day, it said, like, you know what I'm saying? If you're still bothered by something, you didn't heal from it. Mm. And I think that that's when you have to dig deep. Like, you have to dig deep into yourself to understand, like, yo, you really ain't over that. That's still, what I, if somebody can say this to you and it still bothers you in that way, you ain't over it. So you need to start doing some self-reflecting on, first of all, how do I get over this? So that if somebody says this to me, whether they're frustrated or not, I'm not even reactive. Because you know what? Ha! I don't even give a fuck about that no more. Facts. I don't even care about that no more. Before I so, go into it, right? Let's um again, let's go back to yours. How do you um turn on when you when you turned on? Um, so like I said, like I like I've been just trying to give the situation more grace because I know I'm not perfect. And I think a lot of times that like, you know, when we're mad at somebody, it's always well you and you and you, and we have to constantly look back at ourselves like, yo, pff, your shit ain't perfect. Like, you know what I'm saying? And like I I find solace in that, knowing that, like, damn, you know what I mean? This very well can be the same situation on the opposite side. And if this was a situation on the opposite side, or if this is a situation on the opposite side, I don't want somebody to completely turn on for me, turn off for me because I'm growing. You know what I mean? So for me, it's giving a situation grace. And by giving a situation grace, what happens is now I put us back one in the same. It's not like you, 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 you. It's more so like, yeah, we both be doing shit. Like, you know what I mean? So how can I be turned off on you. I might as well be turned off by my damn self. Damn, I want to commend you for that. Cause yeah. I, I always say that's not Sade. <laughs> like, I be like, yeah. yo, where's the accountability? I feel like a lot of times in our relationship, I feel like things are unfair. Like she looking at me as one thing, but not really looking at herself. Like we're doing the same thing. So to hear you say that, I definitely yeah. want to commend you But I also that. think that's the <clears> other <throat> thing. I think that like, for example, like you think I deal with, if I don't deal with something, how you view me dealing with something, you think I'm not doing it, but I don't have to like, for some, for example, Jay will in a conversation find his accountability, right? And that may be the right thing to do, but some people need to have their time by themselves to find their accountability, to be able to come back and be like, okay, you know what? I was wrong. See, if we're in an argument and Jay's like, well, you need to address it right now. And I don't see I'm wrong right now. I need a second to step aside out of this so I can reflect with myself to say it, or I'm not going to say it in that conversation. I'm not going to even address it in that conversation because at that moment, I don't feel I'm wrong. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's human nature. Like, obviously what I did is justified, you know, I'm, or I want to believe is justified in that second. And if I don't have a second to step to myself, reflect, I'm not going to address that in that conversation. I have to come back you know what I mean? And which is why I think stepping back a lot does help because now, okay, you know what, baby? I was wrong for that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, whatever. But, you know, I think Jay's more instant resolution and me, I'm more, let me find a resolution first before I speak on it. Or more fight. <laughs> but but I mean. anyway, I still want to commend you for that. The mm-hmm. fact that you do sit back, sit back so and reflect. No, nah, I'm saying you know, I'm giving you. I'm saying I'm saying I'm giving you your credit. I'm saying shout out to you for that. All right, all right, Look, all right. but um, maybe a little yeah, fight. Okay. So, <laughs> so you you think reflecting is how you get turned back on by turning off just sitting? Yeah, I think just well, like I said, um, reflecting and giving grace is right. how I turn back on because again. You got to give what you want. Like if I'm and that's if he's turned off, like, for example, if, you know, I'm turned off by him right now, what I do, I'll think about like if he was turned on right off by me right now and I would and I want him to forgive me. I would want that. Very I would well. want him to understand where I'm coming from. I would want him to be here for me in this way. So if I don't do that for him, I can't expect that in return. So, bitch, so, turn yourself back on. The Take a th- moment, you know, getting your Zen, you know, light your little incense, do whatever you fucking need to do. Go pray about it. Go talk to your friend about it. And you know what I'm saying? 
And then what I think is turning back on is also comes with doing something, right? Mm. Uh, some form of action. So, for example, turning back on might be coming in and be like, hey, like you want to sit and watch a movie? You want to talk? You want to light the hookah, pour a drink and have a vibe? Like you have to follow up with an action. It can't just be like, mm. I'm just like, yeah, we're just, like, so I, I found it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to give him grace. So like, yeah, so we, we, you know what I'm saying? Just act like regular scheduled program. I think it does have to follow up with an action. That's great advice. And I... And just to repeat my my I turn back on just by time. And I wanted to get back into the conversation of uh just saying things to each other that just forgiving, like really learning yeah. how to forgive. And what I will say is just reflecting. I don't think that just reflecting from what you were saying about um if some if somebody says something to you and it still hurts you, then you ain't get you ain't get over it. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that you have to like I don't think it's a bad thing that you're not over it. Yeah. And honestly, right. as partners, I feel like we should do better at understanding what our insecurities are yeah. and really Agreed. not saying things when we're upset to to really be trigger those yeah, insecurities the, yeah. the another and what i will say is like i don't think i'm over uh one of i don't think i'm over a couple things you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so when it said mm -hmm. it really hit it really hit home so like mm -hmm. and it and it's time just being honest and being transparent mm -hmm. like i still think about it to this day like i'll mm -hmm. be thinking like Damn, I wonder what Shade talking about with her friends or mm -hmm. because I see the conversations that girls are having. I mm -hmm. see the conversations that my girl are bringing to me about her friends and mm -hmm. what they going through with their men. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? It's like I never want my girl to talk about me like that. And yeah. so like when when she's saying things to me like that, I'm like, damn, like I'm only yeah. thinking about what she's saying to her friend mm -hmm. and how she look at me now. Why why are we still in this relationship type thing? Not why are we still in this mm -hmm. relationship, but I mean, just being just to keep it a hundred. You really never know when the end come until the end comes, right, and then real. and then you reflect <laughs> on it when the end is near, and yeah. you be like, "Yeah, our relationship been over, right?" But at the same time, I, I say all that to say, when when things are said to me that I don't like or that hurt my feelings or whatever, now I'm in those. That's in my mind, like, damn, like I wonder mm -hmm. what she thinks saying about me now, yeah. or how she look at me, or why she yeah. still with me type shit. And um, I don't know, just being honest, I just wanted to have that conversation because I feel like it definitely bothers both of us. And yeah. I don't know how much it bothers you, but I will, yeah. just being honest, like, nah, shit, like, I don't, I don't fuck with that shit. Yeah. But I don't think we ever had the real conversation of like what yeah. we didn't like. Yeah. Well, it's crazy. I mean, because there's things you've said that I'm not over either. You know mm. what I'm saying? And um, I think it's, uh, I think it's just everybody has to have more faith in their partner. Um, I think sometimes, like, you know, I know sometimes people say people say things out of anger and they really mean it. I also think that people say anger things out of anger to say something to bother you because they're mad as well. Like, mm -hmm. you know, what I mean, it's not always that because I do. I, so the, the things that I still don't forget that you said to me, do I think you fully entire mean it? No. You know, what I'm saying if I said and if I said you meant it, then I wouldn't be with you. Like, mm -hmm. you know, what I'm saying, because if you think of me in that way or you look to, you know, anything to say those things about me. I wouldn't be with you because why? Like, you know what I mean? I think it's really having faith in your partner. Like, I know he didn't mean that. He said it because he was mad, but I know he didn't mean that. Mm. But if I felt like you meant that, I wouldn't be with you. You know what I mean? So because I think like that automatically, I'm going to assume that you feel the same because why would you be with somebody who you feel like means that to mm. you? Like, you know what I mean? I wouldn't want you to be. If you felt like I meant that, you shouldn't be with me either. You know what I mean? Because vice versa, you know? And I think it's like, you may not be over, like, again, I said the grace thing, like, you might not be over things that I said to you, but you got to understand, well, I said some mean things to her too. Right. So because I said some mean things to her too, I only can look at it like, boom, did I mean that when I said that to her? Nah, probably not. Then therefore she might have not meant that when she said it to me either. Like, you know what I'm saying? So is it something that we can work on not saying mean things to each other that affects us or like not saying things that trigger us to those points where it's like, you know what I mean? You know, I don't like that. Why do you keep saying that to well, me? The com so in the, just diving deeper in the conversation <clears> is, <throat> like you said, like when you say things, you feel like both of us, we or just humans, period, I think. Yeah. And, it's normal to feel like you're right or your you, your reason your action is yeah. justified, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so, I was just wondering, like, how do you even get out of that way of thinking? For example, like we have a argument, and I might feel like I said something because out of retaliation or because you said this, I said that. Don't make it right. Mm -hmm. But like, I'm just trying to. I really want to have that. Yeah. Well, I think that it has to be looked at on the other side too. So maybe I did. Maybe she said something yeah. out yeah, of that right. reason yeah. of of what affected 
her of what mm-hmm. I did as mm-hmm. well. Mm-hmm. So like, if you could look at it on both, you have to always yeah, look at right. it on both sides. So if you think like, well, I only said that because you said that, then what did you do to make her say that? Facts. No. You're so right. that's not. You know, right. that's how I look. No, at no, it. you're right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right or wrong. You know what I'm saying? We still all grown through. We really don't have all the answers. Nobody does. But I can say if we both keep it mutual I like on that. a mutual pr- uh, yeah. a spectrum, then and that stop. means nobody is over or, or to... over or nobody's reason was more justified. Yep. Nobody re- reason. They all was wrong. And it go back to not not comparing. Right. No. Yeah. All right. Bow. 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 Like bow. Bow. We bow. Go... <clears throat> let's, let's, let's see what's going on. So I think we... Come on, baby. Give me a kiss. Yeah, you can go. You ain't even drink. See, you always what, on your bullshit. Who who ain't drinking? Where we at? Let me see where you at. We okay. We're literally at the same said, exact amount. No, no, no you're right. And you're he right. was finna say you, got you that. ain't drinking. You got that. You okay. got that. Let's right. go into um. You want going to get this or that? Let's get it. Come on. I think you gotta click out of it and Let's then click it. off Let's of it and it. then so you can click the uh. uh y'all. Or just copy it. and paste it. <clears throat> Honestly, if y'all jumped there on you go. The link right there. my live yesterday with Corey and myself at Slim C, I appreciate you. I am sore as hell. So if y'all was in on our workout yesterday, y'all are sore as hell. And if you're not, you didn't work hard enough because, bitch, these fucking legs. Corey be, are, Corey be getting y'all right. Corey be in there working. You heard? You um, <clears throat> so that was cardio and cleanse. If you didn't know, tap in for when we do it again. You get your good exercise, a good smoothie, and some prayer because we all need it. Um, okay. So would you, are you a get up early or a stay up late? Wait, what? You like to get up early or would you, are you a stay up late person? Would you rather get up early or stay up late? Both? No. Or? <laughs> like, I would stay up late and get up early. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. I didn't really. But no, nah, I mean, I, I mean, I guess if you had to say, it, I would okay. say, um, I would say, let's. I'm gonna get up early. All right, boom. Um, All right, comedy movie or horror movie? Horror movie. I'm so scary of horror movies, y'all. So you would rather comedy? comedy? Yeah, give me a that good funny corny, ass movie son. like Harlem Nights. Oh. I fucking love Harlem, Harlem Nights. Nights. Yeah, yeah. Right. but a horror movie, I don't like demonic. Fucking uh, ritual, uh, all that uh, bullshit. I don't like that. Mm-mm. <laughs> what? I'm My phone you. ring. No, I'm hey, Jay been on his shit these days. Okay. <clears throat> Would you rather lose the ability to hear or the ability to walk? Hear. I would rather lose the ability to hear. Walk. Fair enough. Cause I need a. Keep the marathon going. I need to run laps around you, motherfuckers. I need to be able to do my job. I, I need, need to be able to do what I need to do. I need to be able to stand up while I'm hitting it from the back. You don't need to hear it? Nah. You lying, because before you said you need to hear it over C. But if you're talking about I need to stand up while I'm, you know what I'm saying? Cause, and then if I, if I can't walk, then more than likely my shit probably don't work. And I need my shit to work at all times. All right, period. <laughs> okay, would you rather vow to celibacy or vow to silence? No sex or being quiet. Yo, stop lying. <laughs> look, you looked at my phone number. Look. I, I'd rather uh, vow to um, silence. Vow this to is, silence. Tim, vow what's up? To... You're on a Gemini Scorpio podcast right now. What's going yeah, on? Yeah, catch 22 in the building. You already know we smoking. <laughs> we we nah, already we to, smoking. We're going to finish up in a little bit. <laughs> All right. Boom. <laughs> Would you rather <clears throat> be happy and content but not achieve much or never be satisfied and achieve a lot. Never be satisfied. Okay. All right. Period. Would you rather volunteer at a homeless shelter or tutor the unprivileged? Tutor the unprivileged. That's easy. Okay. Homeless people, yo, that's going, yo, homeless people be so fucking... Not selfish, but ungrateful. Like nah, homeless people, some homeless ever, people like to be homeless. You ever try to serve mm-hmm. a mm-hmm. serve a homeless people dinner? Mm-hmm. They be so picky. They be the pickiest people ever. Yo, so one time um, I was doing my meditation gala, and me and my partner at the time uh, we went to a homeless shelter to recruit ladies that we would give items for free, get them to go to the meditation gala just to find some solace. If you would have fucking thought, well, what are y'all giving me? And well, I don't need to go because I'm good where I'm at. A book. Uh, why do I need extra stuff for? They just were out of pocket, and God bless them. But I ain't know homelessness come with un- 
ungratefulness at the same time because they clearly are grateful to be homeless and mm-hmm. I, whatever. Anyway, would you rather be the manager of a store with badass employees or be one of the badass employees? Damn, I'd rather be the manager at the store with the badass employees. Cause I'm firing all you motherfuckers. Get rid of you niggas. Get the get the fuck. Get the step in. Man, shout out to all the delinquents out there. <laughs> <laughs> we saying with you. <laughs> all right. That's, yeah, that's that was it. it. That's um, all I had. <clears throat> shout out to Jewel for the plug for the this or that that I didn't find myself. Shout out to Jewel. Bay. What's good? What you got? Damn. What? Episode 20! This Sorry, I had to throw it in. If. Okay, come on. Give we me in a burning house. What the fuck? Where are we going? And you had to choose. Oh, between hell, wait, wait, hell, hell no. <laughs> wait. Oh, hell no. Oh, I already know what he got. What he said, you start off, first of all, you can't start off with, this is bad. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> and right. I already knew where he was going. But go ahead. I'm going to let you finish. His sold it all. Okay, come on. Give it to I'm me. I'm going to let you finish. Who you saving, babe? Who's the choice? You saving me? Mm-hmm. Or your child? Amaya. <laughs> Damn. We lived a, lo- a little more. Amaya still got life to live. Look, I'll save her and jump in the fire with you. Yeah, I don't know. If I had, I mean, well, I just want to make it fair, kind of, but. Save my I, child. Don't ask. Just save my child. I don't know. Save my child. I think it's a mad thing to save his woman, though. Save my child, or I'm going to resent you forever. Oh, she's, yeah. You save my oh, child. Have no, no. Now, what the fuck? Podcast done. <laughs> no, not, not like that. We can have a. There's only one Amaya. I just feel like I'm, one. I'm saving my Nah, see what Jay meant to say was he would probably die trying to save both of y'all. That's there what he meant Thank to you, say. Thank you, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That's what Jay said. Yeah, because that's you what just he really said. And honestly, now I'm talking. <laughs> nah, no, nah, seriously, though. Okay. I feel like we had this. We never had nah, this conversation. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. these conversations be out there. Yeah. And I feel like men no, would save their woman before they save yeah. their child. But that's because men don't burden the the ability to birth and have the child see when you have a human life outside their body it's first na- instinct i'm gonna save my child you're not a woman you are a you know you're attached to your woman because we're your rib and we're a part of you so you want to directly save your rib but at the end of the day in order for your woman to function properly you better save that child because if you do not i'm sorry you're gonna have an unhappy miserable woman so for what, a very long time. So going into that conversation, how do you feel about <clears throat> ultimatums though? Ultimatums Having to choose, period. I don't like to choose. I don't like to choose. So if, hypothetically, right? Mm-hmm. If I didn't like your best friend. Okay. And I'm like, she can't be your best friend no more. Mm-hmm. You going to be like. I need, if, just, if I need she, reasons why. It, I, don't, I don't like her. I don't like. If the reasons <clears throat> are, if the reasons so to me, I don't, I, think, I don't like ultimate. I don't like ultimatums. One, I hate that shit. Too, right. However, I'm very understanding. Right. All right I, don't so, like, I don't like. I so, don't like your friend. She 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 posts too many thotty pictures. She posts yeah. too many thotty videos. Uh-huh. She's a hoe. She out in the streets fucking this mm-hmm. and this person and that person. I don't like the way she carry herself. You mm-hmm. either gonna be friends with her or when you gonna be in a good relationship together. I don't think that's a good enough reason. So you gonna just say fuck the relationship? Nah, I'm gonna tell you. You need to get over it. But if I say I'm, I'm not getting over it, and if you're still friends with this person, we, we're not together. My best friend, my best, like my best friend Kayla for twenty years. Your best friend Kayla for twenty years. You a dub. Damn. Twenty years. Twenty years is long. Over two years, I'm sorry, and that bitch That's ain't never fold, bend, or or give me an ultimatum, and she would never tell me to choose my nigga over her. She's just gonna get right. So therefore. You got the road, baby. <laughs> Twenty year friendship or nothing. Period. God damn, that's crazy, yo. Let me tell you because look, at the end of the day, I feel like, for example, like I said, I'm very understanding. So like, if you and her had a something happen and she wildly disrespected you, like then I'd be like, look, you wildly disrespected my nigga. You're wildin'. Like you know what I mean? Now, if you just don't like her over her lifestyle, that has nothing to do with you. But zero to do with you. That's not true because that has nothing to do with I, you. I feel like woman, if you're hanging with her, right, and she's posting all these wild pictures and videos, that got everything trust to do with you. Trust your female. Because, trust your partner. Yeah, that's just trust your good. partner. And it sounds good, but I think that you know, there's gonna be times that that happens. To be honest, and realistically, let's keep it funky. Like 
there's probably friends that you have that I don't like how they move in. I don't like, you know what I'm saying? Like, or I, I just don't like things about them. I'm not going to be like, you act like them. Like you, you, if you hit with them, you potentially going to do it. That's a potential thing. Like you might do what they do, or you might, if you don't know me well enough to know how I move, then we shouldn't be together so, anyway. Cool, cool. So you say disrespect, right? What if yeah. I think, what if, what if my example or my, what I deem as disrespect. wild disrespect ain't what you deem as wild. Disrespect. Let's say she called me a, a bitch or something and i think that's the worst thing in the world yeah. like nah. i think that's a big deal though like you know what i'm saying like i no females about to walk around call my nigga no bitch and if mm. you call my nigga a bitch you definitely probably gonna have to see me and i might square up with her first and then we could probably sit down and talk about it but if no resolution she call you again whoa 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 <laughs> coronavirus <laughs> hey let's get it real hey hey cut this hey what where we at i'm Alex? sorry i still had in the podcast, I still had I still had to catch twenty two in my throat, Paul. Hey, yo, what the fuck, yo? What? That's my friend. Not, I ain't say the owner of Catch Twenty Two. What 22. the fuck? I said Catch Twenty Two. Pause, y'all. Where we at, Alex? We at fifty minutes, y'all. Hey, I'm me. let's 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 get into the shits real so, quick. So come on, pass it, pass it, pass so, it. So get off the hook, yo. Oh, Walk a flock of flame. Walk a flock of flame. Walk a flame. said that. Uh, Yo, Waka used to be lit back nah, in the day. Now he was. He used to be lit. He said that uh, cheating has made his wife better. Fuck all that. You crazy. Cheating. Let me tell you what makes a, a female better. Anything that has to remind her that checking with yourself and to know your worth if that was cheating it wasn't the cheating it's the real the realization that i'm putting too much time into you and you out here doing what the fuck you want to do that don't have nothing to do with him cheating directly it has everything to do with her nigga ain't shit no or sometimes no y'all just get beside yourselves no. as women like y'all think y'all gotta go cheat for that yo i'm just saying if I i'm beside myself you can either tell me to my face like bitch you were beside yourself you ain't doing what you're supposed to do as a woman but if you go cheat you're now betraying me betraying right. me doesn't make me a better person but what does make me a better person is reflecting the fact that i don't deserve that i deserve more you know what and i'm gonna boss back up so that i can get more and then what's gonna happen is you're gonna be a better nigga I... because i'm already about to put myself on in my bag what period the fuck whatever Whatever. No. All right. What about? No. No. What no. If, what if it was a valid reason, right? Hypothetically. What's a valid reason? Hi, for hypothet hypothetically. What is a valid reason? Hypothetically. My box don't work. Hypothetically, you're not giving my me. My box shut off. Hy hypothetically. Pussy not, done. Listen. Hypothetically. Went out of control. Let me. Let's say. Let's say. Let's, let's say. Let's say you ain't you ain't, you ain't holding it down in the bedroom like you need to hold it down. You ain't really giving me head you or whatever. You better teach me or You got lazy. Or hold me. up. Hold up. You got lazy, right? I told you a couple of times you ain't do it. I went out and got it, and I say, Bay, listen, I ain't gonna lie. I did something I shouldn't have did, but I got something that you wasn't giving me. Do you see yourself like, you know what? I don't fuck with that, but let me let me boss up and let me handle my no. business. No, all right, whatever. Because if you're my man who should be my best friend, you should have came to me and said, baby, I love you to death, but I'm unsatisfied in the hey, bedroom. We... Before you go decide to make you're round to outside on the block to go recruit. Quick, nah. All right, quick question. Nah. Off the shits for one second. All right. We in a relationship. Are we really best friends? Yes, I can say we're best friends. All right, okay. All are right. we? Are we? Nah, we're uh, best friends. All right. It, the so the thing about being best friends is you don't agree with them all the time. And that's sometimes fair. your best friend will get on your fucking nerves, but I that's think fair. that's why that's your best friend. A lot of people equate best friends or friendships with uh, like just perfect being perfect and it ain't perfect all the times and a lot of times like being best friends is, is shows the ability to grow with each other grow through some things see each other grow so right. I definitely we best friends right and my um, bet but what does alter best friendshipness is betrayal right and betrayal is cheating facts okay stepping out giving my dick to somebody else doing what you're not supposed to do kissing mm. a bitch in the mouth texting her talking to her touching her doing too much you were just texting another nigga not what about who about what about what about who about what so you who? were sexing who? another nigga about what who i'm asking you you said about what who who, who? ovo nigga you heard what the fuck all right I said. whatever anyway so nah nah that was all um, right boom what else you got uh 
Russell Wilson and Sierra. I don't know if y'all seen it live. I wish we could have pulled it oh, up. Oh, I love them so much. I am a part of the Wilson family, if you guys didn't Because I didn't really see the... Uh, Sierra is my sister. That's she sister? gave me the prayer. I thought the... um. She gave me the prayer. I thought the... Huh? I thought the... Our, the Ray J girlfriend chick was your sister. Why the fuck? When did I say that? I thought you said everybody said you look like her. Ray J's her? girlfriend, Princess? No. Nobody said Princess, you look like her. I thought you said people say you look like her. I never said that. Who was the girl? They... Amarion's girlfriend. Oh, April. Amarion's girlfriend. April. No, well, ex. And nah, we're not sisters. She's mm-hmm. a hoe. <laughs> She's wild. And say, let me not do that to the girl. I don't know her can story. I, I don't know what she'd be quick? doing. Uh, can I see the prayer? <laughs> well, what, like, what so, well, so basically what happened, <laughs> oh, basically God. what happened, they were on IG Live with Lala. And um, see, Lala was basically ended up doing like a formal interview and asked her, you know, about so talking to Siri about how, how everybody's talking about her prayer. Mm-hmm. Russell, the great guy that he is, pulls up and said, why do people keep asking her about the prayer? What about my prayer? Mm. What about what I asked for? What about what I manifested that I received and got my good wife? You know what I'm saying? I think a lot of people, and that just to me, where it always goes like, you know, the woman prays, the woman, you know, tries to manifest this great relationship and ch- makes all these changes to find her men. Some men do the work. They put their prayers up. They manifest their perfect queen. And yeah. What you so do? what 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 was the prayer? You prayed me? You prayed for me? He said, Oh, he had five <laughs> things. Um shit. I forgot the five things. He said he wanted a bitch who could stop the room when she walked in. Can I stop the room? You definitely stopped the whole fucking world. You stopped everything that's going on. Period. So stop the room. He wanted a God-fearing woman. Am I a God-fearing woman? Definitely. Um, And it was three more. I can't remember. Sorry. But I'm one of those if you guys want to know. Um... So, but yeah, he basically said five things that he did want in a woman and he prayed about that and he got Sierra, who was all of those things. And I think it's very dope with them. Um, she started crying on a live and I just wanted to go hug my good sis because it was so amazing. Um, yeah, shout out to the Wilsons though. I love them. Another one of my favorite families across the board, like the fucking Jameses. LeBron James family is my LeBron other family. James. LeBron James. So shout out to the James family as well because we love them. Um, six nine released from jail due to the coronavirus. <laughs> it's getting real. Um, so look, six nine. Perfect time, okay? Because, well, <laughs> permitting that he's allowed to use get on the internet media, yeah. and use social media. Because I don't care what y'all said. When 6 9 was out, the internet was jumping. And he knew what to do. And he got the internet jumping. Number one troll. Um, definitely hella entertaining. I think 6 9 was always fucking hilarious. Even though he used to be wildin'. Um, I want to see what's up. I want to see what's up. Yeah, I don't really have nothing to say about that. You know what I'm saying? Um... Six nine release from jail. Oh my god. Mm. What I would. What I yo. Hold up, wait a minute. Did Which this is... nigga just blow smoke into his drink though? <laughs> 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 Let me pull it. Yo. <laughs> I did, I did. And I looked at it too. I was like. <laughs> whatever though. Um, now I don't really have something not to say about that, but yo, what I will say is yo. Uh what's the nigga name? Kodak Black? Cause he commented Ooh. on uh, it be a young boy situation from Ooh. jail. Is it like I feel like? Is it okay for him to have a phone or they he not supposed to have a phone? Cause if you're Come not, on, everybody I know in jail. niggas in jail have phones. Niggas got and it's called a black. Of course he got a phone. I know, I know, I know niggas. Ain't, so that's not surprise. So that's an orange juice. So the the um niggas people saying people in jails having a phone, people acting like it's a surprise to them is annoying to me. Yeah, because but what I will on. say is. Are you Come supposed on. to have a phone or are you not? Because if you're not, you tweeting or is using that not it, hot? isn't that hot? But like, here's the thing, like I think that is okay. So hmm, how can I say this? So like let's not act like, you know, the police department isn't corrupted. I'm sure his CEOs know he has a phone. And I'm sure they got it in for him, mm-hmm. just to be honest. And if they didn't get it in for him, they know. They okay. know he has a phone. Now, the thing is, like, it's also debatable. He can literally say somebody else also has my logins. Mm. Like, there's ways around that. So even if not saying, not trying to give y'all no hacks or tips or anything, I'm just saying, like, even if he had a phone, prove it. Mm. Search my cell. I'm sure they'll find somewhere to give it to, hide it to. It ain't, come on. Like, we ain't about to act like jail is in a whole nother world in itself. It's, it's the same thing. It's finesse and politics. Facts, no, you're right. But that's in politics. Yo, um, but yeah, six nine released uh I already I'm saying. I mean, you know, um, 
like I said, right now, New York is on heavily, excuse me, heavily on lockdown. And, um, you know, I think right now uh, his pro main focus probably is his daughter through this pandemic and what's going on with them. Um, I know his baby mother don't fuck with him and be wildin', so that's probably another story in itself. Um, but I don't think he's really probably more concerned about the internet right now, especially because his biggest plea to reduce his case was being a motivational person and helping, you know, his younger generation not fall into the traps that he was. So I don't really think that trolling is on 6 ix mind right now. And even if it is on his mind, he can't display that because the judge will click, 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 what you say? That violates everything we talk about. Um, however, like I said, that... Um, shout out to six nine getting out early. <laughs> you I mean, know, I'm sure a lot of convicts would love that. Yeah, so. uh, let's. So Snoop Dogg <laughs> responds to Ari Lennox on black women wearing their own hair. Grow your own hair. What happened to those days? Who? Um, why? What did Ari Lennox say? I don't think I, I said that. Remember. Anybody knows? Yeah, what happened? Well, what did he what say, happened? Alex? What happened? What happened? And we good, Alex. So we don't have to, I, I get you, but we 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 we, we straight with it. We straight we finesse. So basically what happened was Ari was on Instagram live struggling well, what? with her wig. Like she was trying to <laughs> lay the Ari lace is down, funny as shit. And that shit is hot. She had no wig cap or whatever. So I didn't know what the fuck but, was going on. But Ari's also a natural. Well, for, but for this all intents and purposes, she was trying to put on a wig. And, and it's hard as fuck, using, okay? I don't even know what the fuck type cold spray she was using, but it yeah, wasn't frontals is not a game, okay? It wasn't working. It's a lot of maintenance. But, it's uh, a lot of work. I mean, we got, <laughs> we got an extra, look, look, the extra yeah. just pulled up. Yeah. Monique just so pulled let, let me tell y'all how, I love how Ari, Ari did it because she doesn't wear those on a regular basis, so it was probably her trying to be like, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got you gotta through. go through. Like it's sense. a lot. It's a lot of maintenance. It ain't no game out here. Um, shout out to Ari Lennox. She getting let's, a lot of love right now. I fuck with it. So I like Ari. Let's uh, let's talk about how the men are just always opinionated. All right. Yeah. Cool. Always, always opinionated. To, let's, let's 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 start some. Shit. Always opinionated. Let, let's, what's let's, going on with women? Let's start some shit. Come on. First of all, what happened to those days? A lot happened to those days, right? So like. I just feel like it's social media. So when we say when we see things, we say things. I guess, I, even though I don't really care, but that's just playing devil's advocate. Niggas is full of shit because they love these little. They love fucking bitches with wigs, half wigs, half shaved heads, bald heads, small heads, big heads, braided heads, long that's, hair heads, bush heads. Like it don't really let's matter. Not it, let's not get it fucked up though. What? Yeah, we love fucking them bitches. Right. But they ain't really on nobody's number one. Who list said for so? I know it's a lot of bitches with long frontals that's done got wiped. What are we talking about? Wait, wait, wait. I'm not saying nothing wrong with frontals. Wait, I'm not saying like, that. Wait, what are we talking about? But I'm saying no. Well, like, what about wigs being protective styles? Let's talk about that. How it. ladies is getting their hair maintenance up under their frontals and it's uh, getting taken care of and by next summer they're going to be long hair don't care or the ones who have hella long hair girls. under there growing their hair and keep maintaining it what you got to say alex um can you tell because maybe i'm just an right. ignorant motherfucker but right. uh i can't really tell so, unless your wig is fucked up or your front Facts. Is fucked up. Nah, like so your what your wig your frontal y'all better go how that barb can better be growing out your fucking scalp and if it's not growing out your scalp, I mean, then honey, you, you got a problem. You better be making six figures if you're going to go right, holler at Barb King. Yeah, nah, dead ass. The she, fuck? Yeah, like, dead you dead better ass, be making dead. a couple Sorry, hundred. Sorry, can't try to plug you, but, uh, but okay, a couple hundred. But even if, like, for example, you know what I'm saying? This is a wig. My wig is going to let you do what it does. Um, again, protective styles, though. Sometimes it's not always about having the best produced wig by Arrogant, Tay, Barb Ken, whoever the fuck. What's another lit one? Uh, Ar Arnold, Arnold, Zo, 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 whatever. That fire, okay? But sometimes it's not even about that. Sometimes people don't like dealing with their hair. Some people, people got to understand that some people do have coarse, 4 hair that requires a lot of maintenance. And sometimes after a while, your go to go day to day, it's hard to deal with. So sometimes, like myself, I just want to throw on a wig. I don't have time. I don't want to be dealing with my hair. I want to braid this bitch up and let it get its course back and get on track. And without that, you know what I'm saying? But some people also just like the look of the wig. Like, to be honest, they like the versatility. They like to change the color. They like to, you know, do whatever they want to do. And I think that men constantly, J. J. I'm trying to say my whole name out there. I was about to throw you out there because you was acting up. So, you know, I think that men constantly talking about something. What happened to growing your own hair? <laughs> because they are growing their hair. And don't forget, we weren't taught how to... 
take care of our uh, let's talk about that we like were, we were taught to cover it up or try to make it or look permit or else, do right? like so a lot of like let's talk about how a lot of women hair are already damaged yeah like they've been damaged since they was little because their moms didn't know how to manage their hair. So their moms was perming and frying and dying and hot combing and sizzling and you know what I'm saying, breaking their hair off. And realistically now it's like, you know, what do they do? You know, and I think I've, I've read something that your your scalp ages faster than your skin and your face. So if your face is already aging and it ages 10 times faster than your face, then half of these bitches got 60 year old heads. <laughs> they got they got grandma head like you know what I'm saying hair done it's fried died laid to the side not working let these babies be great okay they're gonna look good regardless to me all I care about as long as that shit look good and it looks decent you can you're not out here looking crazy do something so it don't and, and you know also, talk so Monique both sides yeah when it comes to the male and the female mm-hmm. side because honestly um like we could say we not trying to get our hair done yeah. for them sometimes, but no, yeah. we trying to look cute so you could do whatever you want to do. Mm. <laughs> All right, fair, 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 so fair. Trying to pull that shit off. So it's half and then like a lot of the times when um when my clients' husbands or boyfriends mm-hmm. pay, oh the tip is nice. So no, they yeah, pay yeah. Sometimes now I ain't gonna yeah. lie because like yeah. if 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 I'm paying for like my girl to get her hair or nails done, I probably like I ain't gonna pay unless I got it. And if I got it, I probably Want the best shit. You know what I'm saying? Then I'm gonna probably get the tip best because of the like, best. yeah, like I'm gonna, I probably ask my girl like, what should yeah. I tip? And then I'm yeah. like, just whatever. So the but, best of the best. Yeah, enough for the hair, that man, hair weave killer. Um, Snoop Dogg, mind your business. You so damn, you all over the place. You hey, everywhere. Shout out to uh, Bel Air twenty episode twenty. You already know. Uh, a couple Any shout outs. Any um. I must say that uh, we will see Snoop Dogg on another episode of Red Table Talks <laughs> in the near future. I've been seeing the memes already. Because he don't know what the fuck to say out of his mouth. He's just going to be up there look like a sad puppy. No point intended. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> hey, man. Shout out to uh, uh-huh. shout out to Bel Air. Shout out to Kess 22. You already know. Shout out to Pink Celebrity. Alexander Blanc. Alexander you know the Blanc. The Blanc. Yeah, shout Alexander out to Jewel. The Blanc. Um, Sad, they, they ambitious JC. Name. I don't know. No, I love it no, so I much. Like I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Zoom in on his face. Look. No, I don't, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Alexander I'm, Blanc. I'm, the Blanc. I, Blanc is your last name. Yeah. yeah. And I, nah, I'm pro no, first and last name. Yeah, he so is. that's not bad. Like, I'm, I'm pro that. Uh, yeah. But nah, man, shout out to the gang. Shout out to the gang. Yeah, man. Uh, shout out to episode 20. I'm going to keep yelling it because this is just shows hard work dedication and shout out to the team everybody who's been here with us everybody who's been listening this far you know what i'm saying we're gonna keep giving y'all content we're gonna keep giving y'all a podcast we're gonna keep giving y'all bel air unless we get another sponsor that's even better um we're gonna keep wait giving... wait 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 oh, wait i wasn't supposed to say that we 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 love you i, I know uh-huh. we're gonna keep shouting out to bel air and, 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 and the instead, other ones yeah, yeah instead and, and, unless um, they get on some shit I mean, you said this was the last shipment through the point. No, 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 no. I was I saying, no, they wasn't giving out no shipments. Oh, but we got some. Yeah. Oh, it's lit. A shout out to Valera. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm just joking. It was a joke. Don't play them. No, matter of fact. Um, 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 yeah, so uh, shout out just to at Patiently Polished on a nails you already know. Um, we appreciate y'all, man. Uh, coronavirus is getting real. Wash your hands. Hide your kids. Hide your wives. You already know. Yeah, man. Mr. J Hill at Mr. M R underscore J A Y H I L L at Healer Bay H E A L E R E A E underscore. Okay. Say your own shit. At Alexander the, the. B L A N C. Alexander the Black. Pink celebrity. Pink celebrity. celebrity. <laughs> and you already know at the Gemini Scorpio Pod, man. Zero twenty. Episode twenty. We out. We love y'all. Coronavirus.